Hi everyone, it's a pleasure to be joined here by Alexandra. It's lovely to meet you, you here today. Very special event, all focused on women and AI and the ecosystem in Europe, but with implications beyond as well. Could you share a bit more about your personal experience and why this matters so much to you? So, as you know, I'm the president of Women in Absolutely. AI. But I'm also a technical person, yes. so I have been trained in this field, I have been worked as a researcher for more than 10 years in this field, and along my career, um, female representation has always been dramatically low. And I have received many times this question, can you hire more women? <laughs> And my team was already the best among the companies I was working in, in gender balance. Yeah. So I was thinking, why don't they ask my male colleagues that they haven't hired not one woman? So then I realized that the question was wrong. Mm -hmm. I'm not a magician. I cannot create women in my pipeline mm -hmm. from thin air. The question should have been, what are we doing to invest into the younger generation, to help them to come into this field, to show how beautiful it is to work with data, because it is, Absolutely. And, uh, and inspire them to enter a career in this field. Absolutely. I love that. It's kind of that curiosity I talk about quite a lot as well, to say, do you know what, I want to do that, I'm interested in that, and there aren't the barriers, to take away those perceptions of barriers, you know. Um, and I see as well, like with the education, you mentioned kind of got the pipeline, and I see three kind of drop-offs, so kind of like 14 to 16, 18 to 20, and then post-university as well. Um, so we need to tackle that, particularly girls into coming into ICT as well. What do you see as the biggest barriers about why people aren't doing that uptake? So, uh, first of all, there is um, a lack of role model, yes, and um, a lack of strategic um, idea in how to inspire women to showcase that indeed if they come in this space they can actually work on their favorite topics so in the past ai computer science engineering has always been discussed for a man-led super technical job today we know ai can change environment can change health can change fashion can change all those things that we as women care about exactly exactly i talk about that a lot in schools you know, like social impact causes you know you look at gen z or gen z they want to be doing things that make a difference for the world and not often they don't realize that actually these tech skills can make it be you know hub of the Huge. wheel to make those happen you know but also that other skills matter too like communication skills and emotional intelligence you need that kind of rounded skill set there's a place for everyone you know Absolutely. i think it's hugely important so i'd love to hear more about you mentioned women in ai i love the fact that you call that a do tank so it's so so important all about the action can you share a bit more about what you do and how people can get involved and find out more about your work so we are an open community. Um, welcome everyone to join. Please come and join and participate. We are a do tank. We just don't just talk about AI. We really help women to become talent in AI. The key point, it's not to increase female participation. It's to increase talent so that women can enter the workforce. They can be successful. They can be the best at their job. They can be role models model for the younger generation. And as you know, you, you talked about the drop-off. Yes. There are drop-off that we call the leaky pipeline exactly. for exactly. women that maybe they need to they have a kid or they have caring mm -hmm. duty at home. So they take few some time off their job and then when they need to re-enter they don't feel adequate, they don't have the right skill, they don't have the courage to restart. And there, where we need to help those women to come back with the right skill, with the right education and with the right opportunity. I think that's so true because we talk about skills access a lot but I think sometimes we don't talk about skills confidence to actually apply them so oh it's God. kind of that rounded view of things isn't it I'm a very big advocate for steam learning for one of those reasons behind that I think it's super super important and with one of your other hats on as well I love the fact you've got multiple hats I love that um, so your work at Shutterstock for example yes. as well what's helped you there so I know you've had partnerships with different organizations like government and business for etc could you share a bit more with the audience about what's made a difference for you personally or as an organization 
before I ask this, I answer this question, let me take a step back. So I come from more than 10 years of research in Bell Labs, Nokia Bell Labs. And at the time I was doing research, fundamental research connected with academia, but also with implication in industry and how you use those things in practice. During those time, I had the opportunity to work with the government in Ireland and with some other organization. So it's very important to get access to education program. Absolutely. Today at Shutterstock we have obviously a strong relationship with AWS. AWS provide a number of different education programs. We also support that uh, our employee with government-led programs, Absolutely. with internal programs. Uh, I'm, I'm going to run an introduction of AI at Shutterstock in the next month. So we do internal programs we leverage external uh, external companies uh, government led program it's you need to give people more options because everyone starts at a different level and therefore you need to design an education journey that can fit different starting point than ending points and then it becomes a continuous learning project I love that because we talk about personalization a lot in tech, don't we, around experiences and I think we need to talk about it more in terms of learning, that personalized learning journey and you know, things like metacognition as well, smart thinking we all do it in different ways and helping people identify what works for them or what works for you is hugely important too and can help people gain on that journey to success. So honestly, I could speak to you all day, I think we've got a lot of shared interests as well which is amazing but thank you so much, thank you. big event today so thank you for taking the time to join us today My and pleasure. thank you all for watching, thank you. Thank you.